Hey y'all, it's Yvette. I'm sitting here and I am ready to uh, get started on sewing some penguins with y'all tonight. I don't know how many of you already have the pattern or went to get the pattern or if you've already made it because I know Sugary Doo did um, a little sew along that started in November, but I wasn't able to get in on that. So um, I have the pattern and I have almost three penguins done. <laughs> Um, but let me go back and I'm going to see everybody who's here right now. Uh, of course, we have Miss Nancy Gus. Hi, Nancy. Um, we have Cheryl in the chat. We have Jackie and Diana. We have Donna Bogart. Uh, Barbara Mattiachi is here. Mary Jane is here. And we have Jill from North Carolina, Sweetheart Creations. I hope your live stream is fantastic. We at, we artists find inspiration in you. Your heart is big. Your personality is infectious. You have amazing talents. We are cheering you on your new life's journey. Oh my God, don't make me cry, okay? Like I just put makeup on. <laughs> like, like seconds, no, it wasn't seconds. Minutes though, minutes. Um, thank you. I love you guys so much. You have no idea. And, um, I, you know, the support that I've had is second to none so you i have the best people here all the time um hey mj linda foos is here laura veach is here katie crafts judy l michelle stewart uh linda smith is here del marie is here hi del marie and we have uh stacy baker and tony conway hi tony we have Kathy Daly, Pam, Pam is here, Pam Sandlin. Um, I have Lucille here. Hi, Lucille. Lori LaSalle is here. Hey, girly. Um, Janet Johnson from Western Australia. Uh, Shirley is here. And Nancy is here. Linda Parsons is here. Um, okay, so that's everybody. I have a lot of people getting their packages today. That's great. It's like the great timing <laughs> to like come on live and talk about uh, your packages. So um, for all of you guys who did place an order, thank you so much. That was uh, very kind of you. Um, Denise is here and Priscilla. Yay. <laughs> um, so I, you know, guys, I have been feeling pretty productive this week. Um, I, I started, oh, Gia, hi, Gia, Diane, Diane's here, um, and, oh, Vachon Bouchard, am I saying your name right? You are a brand new, brand spanking new member in Piecing Your Real. Don't think I didn't notice that. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a great time. We've just started our new block of the month, and I'm super excited. Um, so I've been feeling very productive this week. Uh, I have a few things that I'm starting new. Uh, I'm going to be really just finding things that I can FPP with you guys whenever I'm live on Wednesday and Friday. Um, and for the rest of the week, I am going to be doing some sew alongs and you can either sew along or you can just watch. I know there are a lot of people who like to just sit back and watch other people sew. I find that actually quite therapeutic. A lot of times I'll be watching TikTok and I'm looking for like all of the people who are crafty. <laughs> Hi, Sharon. Sharon Parson is here. Um, Yvonne is here from Tennessee. And uh, I said Denise, right? Hi, Denise. <laughs> um, and so anyway, the I on Sundays, I'm going to be posting the uh little blocks that i'm doing for a temperature quilt so i'm going to just film during the week and then every sunday i will post my uh progress and we'll kind of see how that's going to come along i'm super excited i got you know time that i can do it now so i really want to do this um and then i'm attempting to get um my accu quilt quilt that I started a little over a year ago or that I attempted to start a little over a year ago. Um, I'm going to be posting that on fingers crossed that I can get everything edited, but every Thursday I will have a, a new piece of that quilt coming together and just other stuff. 
as I as it comes up, and I've been told that I am not allowed to overbook myself, overextend myself, because <laughs> that's how I get in trouble. And y'all know I I have no problem getting myself in trouble. Uh, hi, Regine. I see you just came in. Uh, Janet, a temperature quilt is basically um, you have a block. And, in, and this is typical, like you can make your temperature quilt whatever you want it to be. They have, um, they have people who do crochet, they have people who knit, they have people who do cross stitch. Um, so there's a whole bunch of different ways you can do it. So for me, I'm doing um, a paper pieced block, of course. And so here are the ones that I have in a video already. These are my day one through seven. And so I have one set of fabrics that is set for all of the low temperatures. And then I have another set of fabrics for all of the high temperatures. I'll have to like share it with you guys. Um, maybe I'll be able to, um, I hope you're signed up for my newsletter because I maybe I'll send a newsletter out with the things that I'm using so you guys can see it if you'd like. Um, oh, Pam is doing a temperature crocheted snake. What is that? <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> um, oh, hi, Nita. Nita's here. Uh, oh, and Celeste. I didn't see you come in there, Celeste. Hi. Um, no, seriously, girly, you got to tell me what that is. <laughs> so what I'm doing in mine is I am, um, every day. I check the weather in Aurora, which is where I live, and the low temperature goes in the middle, and the high temperature is all the four corners. Um, and it corresponds to whichever fabric I have lined it up with. So um, anyway, you listen, just go to Instagram and hashtag temperature quilt you're going to be blown out of the water. There is like so many different ways to do it. I'm personally just trying to keep it pretty simple so that it can be something that I can come down here and I can put this block together in like between 10 and 15 minutes. And that includes recording it. So um, that's why mine is really very simple. But there are some people who do like, oh my goodness, sky's the limit, like flying geese or uh, a block that's just half and half, or, I mean, just literally anything you want. But I suggest you go over to Instagram, or you might even be able to just go to Google and put in hashtag temperature quilt, and there will be many things that will come up. Um, so there you go. That's what I would do. Uh, let's see. Um, Oh, Sherry's here. Hey, Sherry. Is it the colorway? Um, so, honestly, mine are, it, what I'm doing is, in the low temperature ones, I am, um, in the low temperature ones, I have all art gallery solids. And in the high temperatures, I have all art gallery oval elements. So, um, in it, hold on, I'll figure it out in just a second how I can share my screen with you guys so you can see it. Just give me one sec. Um, Netta is here. Hi, Netta. Hi. Um, Dora Seal is here. Um, Kathleen is here. Hey, Kathleen. Denise White is here. Um, Sharon is saying that the Fat Quarter Shop has the cross stitch one. Um, and I do know one person who's already doing the cross stitch one. If it's the, if there's only one, I have no idea. But, uh, Angela Stoutinger is doing it. Uh, Anita Heath is here. Hi, Anita. And Mary is here. Um, hmm, Shannon. Hi, Shannon. Dale Minatoya is here. Um, okay. So let me see if I can, um, find my... Because basically, I'm just doing the temperature quilt for myself. Um, I guess that could sound uh, very selfish of me, but <laughs> um, let me see. What is this? Is this one it? I don't think that's it. Hold on. I know I'm just sitting here going like, la da da da. -da. 
<laughs> um, where do I have? Okay, I think this is. Let me do. Let me do another thing. Hold on. This will be better. This will be better. I am gonna go and do 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 do. Oh, you know what? I think I have it open already over here. Hold on. Yes, this is it. Okay, so let me. Let me see. How do I get that off? Don't. That's not it. This way. There we go. Okay, so let me get back to my live and I'm going to share my screen real quick. Okay, so are you guys, um, you guys should start, you should see my setup right now. Okay. Um, oh, I think I have to go over to it so that it'll move okay so what you're looking at right now is my I mean you're probably seeing the five million things I got open but that's okay <laughs> but here is the screen so for low temperatures which I mean for goodness sakes I don't even know why I, I even went up to a hundred what happened was I at first um, back in 2021 whenever I started my first one I had just one set of fabrics for the whole thing and so it was necessary to go up to a hundred but now that I have them separated out it I really don't need to do that but I'm doing it anyways I don't know I just left it like it was so a lot of these may never see the light of day in my quilt but that's okay um, so my low temperatures basically I'm looking for this is the temperature uh, range and then if the temperatures are in that range then I use this fabric and this is the color that goes along with it um, so that's what or that's what the color looks like that's you know um, so I go all the way down to zero even though now I've started figuring out that in uh, Aurora slash Denver we go into the negative digits like quite often so I may have to uh, take some of these over here take them out and then move them down here and put it in the negatives I don't know I'm gonna need to start doing that if I hit a negative I'm gonna have to make that decision um, so high temperatures I as you can see I'm using the oval elements from art gallery fabrics and these are the colors that correspond with those numbers and then I'm keeping up with it every day and I'm putting it in so I haven't done today yet but um, I'm basically just going in and I'm putting in what the low temperature was and what the high temperature was, what the fabric is, and then that's how I'm making my blocks. So let me go back to the camera. Okay, so that's basically it. That's how it works. Um, let me move my chat back up to the front. Here we go. Um, and let me see if more people have come in. Uh, Mary says that she crocheted a temperature quilt a couple years ago. Awesome. Val Martinez West. Hi, Val. Um, Moda Fabrics is doing a temperature quilt. Yes, they are. Um, Fat Quarter Shop is using Kona solids and a chart. Okay. Uh, Auntie L Handmade. Hi, Auntie L. <laughs> um, and Sherry says, sorry, I can't keep up with all the hellos. So go <laughs> say hello to everyone who said hi to me. That's real smart, Sherry. Real smart. <laughs> You're very popular, like Shannon says. <laughs> um, yes, if you guys want to do a thumbs up, I would certainly be appreciative. I am sticking to my rulers. I mean, for goodness sakes. I keep going from I'm freezing to I'm in a hot flash and then I'm freezing and then I'm in a hot flash. It's absolutely crazy. And that's why I got short sleeves on right now because yeah. Um, <laughs> and oh, oh, MJ, thank you. Yes. And subscribe as well. That would be even better. <laughs> Thumbs up and subscribe. Um, okay. Let's see. Um... And Celeste retracted a message. What'd you say? I want to know what you said. Oh my goodness. Uh, Gia said she ordered Ice Castles, which is a Judy Niemeyer kit. Awesome. Um, 
How do you know how much fabric you should have on hand? Um, well, Anita, <laughs> listen, I I'll be quite honest with you. I've got bolts and bolts of fabric, so it's not really something that I worry about. Um, now, if I were putting this out for you guys to um, be doing that, I mean, I would say that if you had, I, I mean, I don't think that a fat quarter would be enough just because you never know like what the temperature is going to be. But I think that probably if you had like a half yard of each one, that should be plenty. I mean, I, I think it depends also on what your design is. So if you're going with my design, um, you know, I mean, it, it's, you don't know what the temperatures are going to be. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, it's not really like I can sit here and go, oh yeah, you're going to need X amount of this and X amount of that. You know, um, there's really no way to know. So what I would say is, um, if you have uh, a collection that you really like, that you want to make into a quilt and it'd be real scrappy looking, because it will look pretty scrappy looking by the time it's done. Um, then you can go ahead and do that. And I would just say, hey, you know, if you have like a, half yard or a yard of stuff laying around, you'd probably be fine. Now, you also don't have to break it down as much as I did. You could um, make your temperature ranges bigger. The only thing is you'll, you'll look a lot less scrappy. Like you'll have more of like, you know, if, you, if you're doing like a 10 degree, you know, um, separation between colors, and you hit like a month where it's always between those 10, it, it might look a little boring. You know what I mean? So I don't, I, you know, that's such a hard question to answer with this kind of quilt, you know, because there's really, you don't know. Um, let's see. Laurie is here. Hi, Laurie. Uh, that's Laurie Perscandolo. I don't know why I'm like putting this little thing on the end of my, of my, things here. Um, Celeste says she'll have to convert to Celsius. Um, okay, well, wherever you are, it'll tell you in Celsius, right? Uh, I, I don't understand, but that's okay. You know what you're doing, not me. <laughs> um, let's see. Delmarie says she started a temperature quilt last year, but only got January and February done. I'm going to finish it hopefully this year. Yay. Um, Pam says I'm doing crochet because it's easy to travel with since I'm on the road most of the week now. Oh, okay. Oh, you're fine, Celeste. You're going to, you'll get to know me a little bit better. It's the first time I'm seeing your name. At least I think so. Um, I, I just have this giant issue with FOMO whenever y'all like take a message away. I'm like, what was it? What did I, I missed it. I missed it. <laughs> you don't have to be sorry though, really. Um, uh, Practically Creative is here. Hey, Melissa. I, I think that's Melissa. Oh my gosh. I was real confident when I said that, didn't I? Um, <laughs> Celeste says she can't eat popcorn and type. <laughs> hey, Corey. Um... You were wondering what program I used for my temperature quilt. Um, well, all I did was I just like drew up a block. And I did this in uh, Illustrator. I, I You could probably do it in Canva and just print it up or, you know, whatever. Because they're all the same. I just, and it's. I think they call this like an economy block or something. I Listen, I'm so terrible with remembering the names of all the blocks. But I basically just drew it up in uh, Illustrator. And then I just, I'm printing like, you know, I think I'm, I'm doing like seven days at a time and then putting it up. So I'm, I'm just print like seven or eight of them at a time. And then, you know, um, I think part of the problem with trying to do it a couple years ago although very small part because it's kind of dumb, is that I printed like all of the, sh the paper all at once. It was a little, it was a little overwhelming. <laughs> so I'm not doing that now. I'm just going to print up, you know, seven, eight at a time. 
uh, and and go from there. But that's all I did. I just just something easy. I just I was going for something real easy. <laughs> um, and let's see. Mary Jane says, I saw that on Shabby Fabrics and it's gorgeous. And now Linda Parsons has retracted a message. <laughs> uh, um. Oh. Gia says it's a pre-order. It's shipping in April and she'll get it right after Millersburg. Um. Wow. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. <laughs> Del Marie says she finally stopped coughing. That's awesome. Uh, Celeste says she's in Canada. Well, you'll know what you you just mean your your chart. You're gonna put it in Celsius. That that's yeah. That makes perfect sense. That's how you guys get it. So yeah. Um, do 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 do. Uh, Katie Kraft says, now that you live in the Denver Metro, you can blame the cold and snow on stock show weather. I'll have to learn what that means. And then, yeah, I'll totally use that. Hi, <laughs> um, uh, you skipped up. Sherlock Sows. Hello. Jamie Tews is here. Um, ah, I got Melissa right. What? <laughs> I'm so shocked. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, Katie, how you doing? Um, oh, I hate when it pops up like that. I lose track of where I am. Uh, Gia says family's going to eat dinner in a few, so she's going to say bye, pick up on replay. No worries. We'll see you later, honey bun. Um, hey, mom. My mom's there. How you doing? What you doing over at home? You just watching? Um, Katie says, you don't like people retracting something they say. Katie, it's, I get complete FOMO. I want to know what you said. Like, and then most of the time people are like, oh, it was a typo. I can read a typo. I don't know what you mean. Don't take out the typos. Because I, <laughs> I sit over here and I'm like, what they say? What they say? I missed it. I totally missed it. <laughs> um... Shelly Clark is here. She says she's going to try not to retract it. It's just, it just, it does my heart good that I don't have to worry about what everybody said. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Katie says, for those that knew about what has been going on, my heart light can come home as planned on Friday. However, the ship will be out of commission for three weeks or more sounds very cryptic i a lot of times when you guys are in the chat i don't i miss half of what y'all are saying especially once i start sewing so i have no idea what you're talking about but it all sounds like sort of good news uh celeste is in manitoba shirley's in calgary um ah Oh, good. Katie Craft says, we have the National Stock Show in Denver every year. Kicks off with a Longhorn cattle drive through downtown. Hmm. And when is that? Like, when does that normally happen? Um, Gia says, hi, Mary Jane. Ice Castles is really beautiful and will be on my bed. Awesome. I'm going to have to go back and look at uh, Ice Castles because I don't remember what it looks like, but I, I they're all beautiful. So, um, Hey, Vicki. Vicki says it's her first time to watch video. You mean come... This is live. <laughs> I'm live right now. Um, hi, Tamala. Tamala's here. Katie says, I tend to retract questions if they get ignored. Oh, sweetie, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. You're, especially if you mean that you're being ignored by me, because I just miss things sometimes, especially once I start sewing or I'm working on whatever the project is that I'm sharing with you guys. Um, 
I sometimes won't even always notice whenever y'all tag me, especially if I'm looking this way for like enough time that it scrolls by, I, you know, it's possible I might miss you, but other people might see your question. And I've had people go, Hey, Yvette, Katie asked you a question back there and then I'll scroll back and I see it. Um, so nobody's, nobody's ignoring you. I promise it's, it's just, a fact of how this works. It's it's just how it works. <laughs> um, uh, my mom says it's hot and humid there. Welcome to South Louisiana. Yep, never going back there. Nope. Y'all, it snowed here today. I was so excited. <laughs> it snows here a lot. It's great. It's like it snows and then like by X time, uh, you know, like all the snow on the streets at least and stuff is like all gone. Um, but they don't plow the streets like in my neighborhood. Um, so like my, um, so my street pretty much, especially like, cause my street is like, uh, like off of the main street to drive through the neighborhood. Right. And so it stays like all white. Oh, I love it. Oh my goodness. I love it here. <laughs> <laughs> Del Marie says she's working on the block of the month for piecing it real. Yay! That's so exciting. I'm so I'm so excited to start it. And if you guys are not already a member of Piecing It Real, you need to come over and join because we I'm telling you, I'm so excited about this block of the month this year. It's gonna be super cool. Um and Katie says a fishing ship crashed into my husband's factory shrimp trawler. Oh my goodness. And Dora's making a joke about retracting stuff. <laughs> that is really scary. That is really scary. I hope everybody's okay. And and I hope everybody's great. Or or at least nobody got hurt and all that. I don't know how, you know, how on earth does that even happen? But you know, I'm sure it can. And it's that's that's terrifying to me. Um Vicky's in Dallas, Texas. Awesome. Um Helen Santana is here. Hi Helen. She's quilting in Spanish. <laughs> Please don't talk in Spanish because I won't know what you said. I'll have to use Google Translate. Um sim simple things that you have to know, like Banos. <laughs> <laughs> and then Katie says, you have no idea how scared I was. I know I'm the wife of a sailor and things happen that would relate to bad weather. Or if someone gets caught in the gear, that's what I worry about. Yeah. Uh, Delmarie says, my granddaughter just went to the Longhorn Crossing in Texas. Oh, ooh, it just popped up again. For goodness sakes. Diana loves snow. Uh, Mama's going to eat supper. Okay. That was quick. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> um, oh, my goodness. The ship has a hole in it that covers four cabins on two decks. That is just crazy town. Uh, the stock show is January 7th to the 22nd. Oh. So it's going on right now. Okay. Um, Vicky says, you were mentioned on Kathy's Quilts and Crafts Live just now. Oh, I'm going to have to thank her. Thank you for coming over. You should go over and finish watching her live first. <laughs> um, that's so sweet of her. She is. She's a sweetheart. Um... <laughs> I'm sorry. Melissa says, I guess they can't just tape some plastic over that hole. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hi, Marie. How you doing, sweetie pie? Um, Helen, we're glad you're here. I hope you take my joking around with green salt. I, I joke about everything. I love all of y'all. Y'all know that. Um, Katie says, I am with you on how the hell it even, <laughs> it even happened. But fortunately they had just, 
had a shift change, so no one was in their cabins. They were in the galley kitchen. And okay, well, that's good. Oh, Shannon, me too. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> I'm super excited. I, I hope that, um, I probably shouldn't say hope because, you know, everything's going to happen the way I want it to if I just stay focused. Um, so I am definitely trying very hard to do that, to stay focused. Um, and let's see. Okay. Shelly Clark says, I finished the rainbow quilt that I bought the rainbow butterfly backing last summer in Commando. Oh, cool. Maybe you can bring that um, whenever we meet this year so we can all see it. We'd love to see that. Helen says, I'll keep my comments in English, LOL. <laughs> I was just looking into joining your Piecing It Real. I started to work on the elephant from Violet Craft, and I think you took on too much. You know what? And, and that's fine. Um, it's once you, all you really need to learn is like simple, basic steps to start. Um, and then everything else I build on. So, um, yeah, I mean, you will be doing it before you know it. It's, it's really not that difficult. Don't listen to what people say about how, oh, it's so hard. I can't do that. Oh, it's thinking backwards. Don't, don't think about those things one piece at a time. You just take one piece at a time and, you know, everybody has a learning curve. You know, like for me, it took me well over a year and a half before I stopped sewing the, the fabric on backwards. You know, it's like, because your head, you do have to sort of, you know, kind of get your mind around it. But honestly, like once it clicks and it's there, honey, it is there. And then you'll be able to make that elephant. You can make a Judy Niemeyer. You can make anything you want. And the patterns, even though they may be big, that's just the scale. The actual um, you know, technique of paper piecing is still just, it's the same. It's just on a grander scale. So don't let it scare you. You can totally do it. Um, just some things we have to learn because, you know, they don't just come to you. You have to, you have to learn some stuff. <laughs> um, and Katie says, I tend to ask the same question more than once and it just doesn't get answered. This isn't spe specific to event, but to a few content creators. I, I, and Katie, I'm, I'm telling you, I don't know a single content creator who purposely ignores people. Um, now, I, you know, I can't speak for everyone, but I can tell you that if I miss a question of yours, it was very much only that I just didn't see it. And, um, so you can even just say to me, Hey, vet, you know, tag me again and say, Hey, I had a question up there and I'll scroll up. No problem. Because then I'll see it. It pops up to me in orange, just like it does for you guys when people tag you. So, um, I might miss it, but if you tell me, Hey, I had a question up there, I'm very happy to scroll back up. I promise. Um, I definitely do not mean to ignore anybody, anybody at all, ever. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, Marie, I know. I am going to be sewing. <laughs> I know. Um, let me just see if I miss anything right here. I'll see anybody else. Um, okay, Katie says she wants to do a horse. She would do it in some yummy, bright, happy colors. That sounds amazing. Um, Kathleen says, Hey, y'all, please don't forget to give our lovely hostess a little appreciation. Big thumbs up. Please subscribe. Yay! Yes. Um, and I'm going to be having a whole lot more sewing content coming out. Um, on a regular basis. So please follow and subscribe. Um, I'd love for you to be part of that. Oh, I know you weren't trying to make me feel bad. I'm trying to make you feel good and to know that people aren't, aren't ignoring you. 
because I know how that feels to feel like other, like maybe somebody is ignoring you. And I really don't think that they are. I think it's just they missed it. And don't feel like you can't say, hey, I had a question up there because um, that's what we're here for. You know, that's what we're here for, to like have your questions, answer stuff, you know, and, and that kind of thing for you guys. Um, okay, so hi, Sheila. Sheila's here. All right, so let me switch over to the other cameras so that you can see what I'm doing down here. Um, now, I was working on this while I was at um, our retreat, and so I did already cut out my papers for um, the next uh penguin <laughs> so I, I have this ready and i'm gonna be and i'll tape them up but i think what i'm gonna do first is since i was almost finished with this guy i'll i'm just gonna finish him up so i've got one more piece to um you know attach my fabric on and then i already have um the main body of my penguin. And then I put this guy on, which is his feet. And then these are his arms and they'll be put on last. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and do that is what I'm gonna work on first. That way I'm finishing them as I go. Y'all, do y'all have cats and like every single thing that you sew has like a million cat hairs on it? I mean, I know it's gonna be for me and it's fine, you know, but it's crazy town. Okay. So, here we go. <laughs> I'm going to start sewing this. And I was sewing before I even started this live. So, uh, I'm already set for um, FPP. Meaning that my stitch length is ready to go. Here. Okay. Now this particular part, um, it's kind of like a little funky angle. So this is one of my tips and tricks that you'll totally be able to see um, talked about on piecing it real. But there are a lot of little tips for making sure that your fabric is going to fit where you want it to. Tell I keep popping up on your TikTok. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Y'all, I love doing TikTok. It's so much fun. It's so much fun. Um, I should do more, but it's like I'm I'm over here and I'm doing. I there's just there's only so much time in the day, and it's like, well, am I going to work do something for TikTok or am I gonna sew something for YouTube? <laughs> I can't always do it all. All right, let me scooch this over for a minute so I can press. What's the little box that's following my face? Oh, are y'all seeing that up there? I think it's because, well, see, that's my iPad. <laughs> and I think it's on, is it on photo? It's on photo, so it's probably following me. Okay, will you stop doing that? Stop it. Let me all put it up there. Hopefully it won't follow my face. It was just focusing on me. <laughs> Laura, oh my goodness, you guys got to go follow Laura on uh, TikTok. Laura, give them your TikTok name because you do some cool stuff. I follow you and I watch your stuff all the time too. 
I love when everybody has new stuff come up because I'm like, yay! Especially because a lot of times TikTok is what puts me to sleep. I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, sometimes my brain is just running so much and I can't, um, I can't turn it off. So I got to do something else that's going to distract me. And for me, a lot of times that is TikTok because that's, that's what I do. <laughs> oh my goodness Katie yeah I can't even imagine I can't even imagine well I probably I could imagine it's just I don't know I think being out on a boat Oh, you know, out in the sea and all that would be much more traumatic. I mean, I've had my husband uh, on more than one occasion getting hit by a car and he's, you know, he's on a motorcycle. Yes, this is Sugary Doo uh, Penguin Parade. Are you, did you do it or are you doing it or... <laughs> She just had a sew along for it that that started like in November. But I wasn't able to do that. Okay, so if you go uh below my video in the description box, I have a link to the pattern. Oh, you know what? It looks like it's going to be super cute. I was so excited. I couldn't wait to, to get started. I wish I would have been able to do the sew along. Uh, it just wasn't good timing for me. So I'm doing it now. I have like so many things that I want to sew with you guys. Um, and I'm going to just do them one at a time. You know, I mean, this is very... Um, this pattern is, is pretty simple. I really like it. And um, so this is something that I can totally do like on uh, Wednesday and Fridays so that everybody can watch me doing it. But I also have um, an Alice in Glass pattern that I want to do like after that. <laughs> Yes, I, I wish I would have done the tree one. I didn't. I didn't have time to do that either. But yeah. Um, I don't, how did I pay for mine? I mean, it's going to be a little bit more, uh, because the Euro, I'm pretty sure that the Euro is doing better than the dollar right now. Um, but it's pretty close. I think I just put a credit card in, um, Yeah, Katie, I don't remember the name of it either, to be honest with you. Um, let me see if I can find... Yeah, it's pretty close. 
it's pretty close. So $10, it's going to be right around 10 bucks. I mean, you're looking at, it's going to be, you know, like between 10 and $11. It's not going to be, oh, that's right. And I have that on my Google as well. Hold on. Let me go up there. Currency converter. Here we go. Hold on. Uh, I am doing $10. Ugh, stop it. I hate when pop-ups come on. Stop. From Euro to US convert. $10.77. <laughs> it's pretty close. It's pretty close. So ten dollars seventy seven cents. <laughs> um oh my goodness, your quilt made it into the Bernina newsletter. Oh my goodness. That was was that the one that had the rose? I don't remember the name of it either, but I, I actually had started that one. And you see, it keeps doing that thing with the box. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Why are you following me? I don't know why it's doing that. Stop! <laughs> I wonder if I put it on video. What would happen? What does it do? Oh, hello. Way too close. Way too close. <laughs> or what's that? <laughs> It says natural light. Now look. Now look all this stuff coming up. What is that? <laughs> Stop following my head. <laughs> all right. I'm obviously going to have to like to Google that and figure out why it's doing that. And then figure out how to turn that off. Yeah, you can do that, Katie. I know. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Please do. I know everybody would probably like to see it. Are you putting it in the jelly beanies? That's where you're going to put it? Here's my question. Has it done this all the time? Followed my head around like that because I'm always. This is what I use like every Wednesday and Friday. I use it. I use the same setup. It does that all the time, and I've never really. Oh, it's not bothering you. Just didn't know what it was. Okay. I just find it funny that nobody else has ever said anything. <laughs> and of course, I'm not looking over there, so I don't notice. It does it all the time. Okay, excellent. <laughs> uh, it's the jelly beanies. Let me type that. Oh, cool, Vicky. Okay.
Oh, okay, Katie. Hold on, I can actually go and um, put you in there right now. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 Okay, I need to just go to the jelly beanies. Here we go. Sir. Oh, Katie, you answered all the questions. I love you. There, there are so many people, they never answer the questions. <laughs> and it's like, I don't know if it's their, I, I mean, someone could have like stolen their account. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, they could be a bot for all I know. Um, okay. Okay, Barbara, did you just request to be in the Jelly Beanies two minutes ago? Is that really you? Let me go over there and look at the chat so I can see if, when y'all answer. Well, the thing is, is well, the reason why we ask questions, just to let y'all know, um, we ask the questions because there are so many people who like get their account like hijacked by people or people will like use your name and the the photo that you use like on your account and i i don't know if that's really you or is it a bot and a bot can't answer those questions do you know what i mean um so that's why we put those in there so it doesn't matter what you say you just have to answer the questions <laughs> okay it's really it's really barbara okay because Barbara didn't answer the questions, I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, so I will approve Barbara. And y'all lucky because if my mama was doing it, she'd just kick y'all out. <laughs> she takes it seriously. <laughs> okay, so I can go back to... <laughs> Yeah, that's that's it, Sheila. Is that um Oh, Helen just requested. Okay. Did you answer the questions, Helen? <laughs> I'm just explaining to you guys because I because I think that a lot of people think we are just trying to be annoying or something. Do you know what I mean? And that's totally not the case. Um Okay. Gosh, I hate whenever it does this. Oh, Barbara, it says, it said Barbara didn't answer any questions. That's what it said. Hmm. I'm worried about that then. If you guys answered questions and it's telling me that you didn't, I'm worried about that. Okay. Where will my Chrome come up? Oh, there it is. Okay. Do, 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 do. I go over to the jelly beanies and okay, let's see. 
I actually don't see any more member requests. So it could take a little while for me to, to get some of them. But I'll, I'll check again whenever I get off of the live. Okay. And now I don't know what happened to my chat. My chat left. Restore chat. Okay, so if y'all just typed anything, it left. I didn't see any of it. Um, and I, I just had to restart chat. Oh, actually, it is showing now. Okay, hold on. Oh, cool. Katie, I'm going to go and I'm going to check that out um, after the live is over. And Melissa says, I run a pressure cooker group on Facebook. There are three questions. All are, do you have a pressure cooker? <laughs> oh, goodness. I know. Um... Yes, you guys have to answer the questions. Here's the thing. Honestly, we're just, it, it doesn't even matter what you say when you answer the questions. Although, you know, I mean, if you have something to say, I read all the answers. So, I mean, I, I am interested. Um, but it's really to for us to know that you're not a bot and that you're a real person. Um, that, you know, people steal accounts all the time. I get friend requests from people. And I know. That if I accept a friend request and then all of a sudden I get a message, like a private message with a, hi, how you doing? That person's account has been hijacked, okay? Because nobody's doing that and nobody, nobody does that. So, and it happens all the time. So that's why we ask the questions. It's not to be annoying, I swear. <laughs> it's really not to be annoying. It's so that we have... We know that you're a real person. Um, oh, cool. I can't wait to go and see. I'm going to go and check everything out after I'm done. No worries, Patty. No worries. Um, I just thought I would explain because I, I do think that sometimes people think that we're trying to just be like, you know, a big booty not wanting to let people in. It's not that at all. Or like we think we're too big for our britches and we got to like ask a bunch of, make you jump through a bunch of hoops to come in. It's not that at all. Um, it's basically just to protect ourselves and also all the members who are already in the group. You don't want to have a whole bunch of spam coming in there. Um, so that's why we do it. Um, oh, cool. Excellent. Uh, Katie says, what ticks me off is when I'm making a comment to some post, some men hijack it and want to be my friend, like I'm stupid enough to say yes. <laughs> Maybe they want to be your friend. <laughs> I don't understand why I have so many men that follow me on Instagram who, when you if you go and check out their, their thing, they, they obviously do not quilt. And I don't really care if they are following me, just to be honest, because I don't post naked pictures of myself or nothing. So I don't care if, you, if they really want to be there and, and look at like quilts and stuff that I post. Okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care. <laughs> I don't know, Katie. I don't know. But yeah, it's perfectly within your rights to say no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Vicki, I think that my Yvette Renee Creations is public and, but public without having to ask questions. So like anybody, it's a page, it's not a group. So you can, um, just, uh, come right into that one. Oh no, Helen. Maybe someday. 
Yeah, I, I know, Melissa. I ha I don't know who most of the people are anyway. And and honestly, like, in in my opinion, I can only benefit from it um, because, like I said, there's I don't post anything that's private. Everything that I post is regarding my you know quilting and stuff. So I I don't care. It makes no difference to me. It just makes me look like I got a lot of people who like me. So I just say thank you. Move on. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't post like, you know, pictures of my nieces and nephews. I don't post pic, you know, I don't I don't do stuff like that or if I do, I only do it with permission. So, I don't know. I don't I don't really worry about that kind of stuff. I used it used to like really make me wonder as well. You know, I was like, "Well, I don't understand. Like why are they wanting to follow me on Instagram? All I do is put quilting stuff up but i guess if they want to then it's okay with me my ruler's like popping off of the okay i'm trying to make this all within the camera <laughs> so that's why it's like <laughs> my ruler falls off the edge of the mat <laughs> occasionally All those guys on Instagram want you to sing I Like Big Butts. Well, I don't sing that on Instagram. <laughs> if that's how I got them over there and they are showing up as a subscriber, <laughs> no worries. <laughs> okay, so I am going to slap my feet on first. That's the first one. I have a feeling I'm just going to be putting my little feet and arms on and that's all I'm going to be able to do today because I've been yapping my jaws. <laughs> and the cool thing about all of this stuff is that you really don't even have to pay attention to where you're attaching or if it's a little crooked or whatever because nothing has to line up. The feet are like sort of in the middle. The arms are like all wonky so it don't matter. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Oh, I know, Katie. It's it's very interesting. Um, I'm just using the regular size quilts, uh, clips. I think there's these, and then I have one of those big ones. And then they have, like, the big ones. So if you're doing that with, like, a really big quilt, you know, they do have the, the bigger ones. Um... But I'm just using the regular size. Bleep. <laughs> and I just use them to so that I don't have to hold it and worry. I, I just pop them on there and it's done. Helen, you just cut the roast up in pieces and put in a sterile jar, no water, and put in a pressure cooker for an hour and 15 minutes. You have about three inches of water in it. You eat any way you want. Huh. Mary says that she canned green beans. Somehow I had no idea they should be pressure cooked, pressure canned, but we lived and they were delicious. <laughs> you know, that's all that matters. Everybody's still alive and they thought it tasted good. There you go. <laughs>
I could probably show people the quilt. Hold on one second. Oh, I got more member requests. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Woo! Big ones. <laughs> Lucille, you are approved. Linda Parsons, approved. Celeste, approved. <laughs> Okay, going back to home. Ah, okay, so let me get over here, share my screen. So here is the Sugary Dew quilt. This is the one that uh, Katie finished for the Sugary Dew qu quilt along that she did with Bernina. There it is. I can make it a little bigger. Very nice. Makes me want to do mine now. Because I think I, I started mine and all I got done was uh, this one with the hashtags. That's the only one I finished. And then, let's see. There's Shelly's. Very nice. Very nice. I love it. Yep. Does make me want to do mine now. I really love it. Let's see. And there's the rainbow quilt. Let's look at the first one. Very nice. That is so pretty. Gosh, I remember you starting that. Oh, the back. Oh, I love that fabric. Oh, I remember whenever you bought that. That's so pretty. Look, I'm going to zoom in real close. You guys can see that it's butterflies. Look at that quilting. Oh, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous, Shelly. Okay, I think that's everybody. Go back down here. Get back to me. Hello. <laughs> cool beans. Oh, thank you for the blessings. I can always use them, that's for sure. Katie learned how to do reverse applique. Did you like it? Okay, so let me. I would like to at least finish this penguin before we close out. It was easy. I'm just not a, I don't like applique really.
Okay. So now he's got feet. Hello, I got feet. <laughs> now he's gonna have arms. <laughs> uh, which way? Like that. Okay. Yeah. Do it like that, or do it like that. Well, that looks kind of silly. I don't want to do that. Oh, she did that. I kind of like him going. I think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Good night, Donna. Uh, Denise, yes, this is Tula fabric. I'm using, uh, well, it's mostly Tula fabric. Um, this is her mineral, which is part of her true colors. Uh, this is thatched in Blizzard. Uh, this is Art Gallery Oval Elements. And then this is also Tula. This is her, um, I think this is the one called Whisper. So it's Fairy Flakes in Whisper. So yep, yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm using. Hi, Pamela. Yes, we're still here. Katie's eating tomatoes straight off the vine. <laughs> hard no, hard no. <laughs> Oh, Mona's here. Mona, I didn't even see you come in, girly. Yes, that's the one, Sherry. Okay. Oh, thanks, Lori. Oh, I don't eat vegetables, hon. That's all. You can have all my tomatoes. I'll give them all to you. went a little <laughs> I eat Lay's potato chips They're not my favorite, but I do eat them. I'll pretty much eat almost any kind of potato chip. Unless they're too hot.
Well, yeah, I know that there's applique on these. Um, I do know that there's applique on these. I have been thinking about what else I could do. Um, I may just applique. Uh, you know, I put it this way. I would never do like an entirely applique quilt. But if it's on here, you know, I mean, I'll do that. There's only going to be, there's, there's what, like, I don't remember how many penguins I decided to do. Because I know different sizes give your, make your quilt different size. Anyway, um, but yeah, I may do the applique and I may decide to try something else. I'm not sure. I do like her applique eyeballs. They're, they are cute. So I might end up just doing that, you know. There's not that many, so it's okay. Hey, Marla. Okay, he's got one arm, one more arm to go. <laughs> Ooh, Donna's son is our new best friend. What does he do? <laughs> go back up to Donna. Donna. Oh. <laughs> I used to know somebody whose son worked for uh, Pepperidge Farm. Oh my goodness, you guys. We got um, the, the little crackers. Goldfish. We got the goldfish. And y'all know I love, I love me some goldfish. That was, that was really good. That was really good. 
But we got more than just goldfish. I mean, you know, because Pepperidge Farm, they have those cookies. We got those Milano cookies and all kinds of crazy stuff. It was great. <laughs> Is it really helpful to make big F to FPP big blocks like that? Well, here's the thing. When you have big blocks like this, because for me, I find that tiny piecing is so much better because it's so easy to control the fabric. Um, with big blocks like this, it's nice because you have such a big block in such a quick amount of time. Um, but you also have like the fabrics flopping all over the place, right? It can be a lot harder to control. I personally don't like using like a glue or anything like that, but for stuff like this, I absolutely put some glue on it because it's too, it's too big to try to control. Um, that's my opinion. I prefer tiny piecing. Um, I have no opposition to this. I even design big blocks. Um, there's a place for everything, you know? But, um, but that's just me. Um, I like them either way. I will, I will FPP no matter what, but, um, I just prefer tiny piecing. I just find it's, it's really easy to control everything. So, um, and you know, I, that's just me. Yep. Yep. Oh, Melissa's uncle works for Budweiser. I don't drink beer, so I probably I wouldn't worry. I probably wouldn't worry about that one. Hey, Nelly, <laughs> I'm sewing on one more arm, and then I'm gonna go. So we're running a little bit over, but that's okay. Y'all, I'm sitting here trying to read everybody's messages and so at the same time. <laughs> oh, hey, Dorlin. I don't know where Castle Rock is, but I'm going to look that up. And I still have a message on here that I'm supposed to send Shelly pictures of the yellow thatched. I'm sorry, Shelly, if you're still here. <laughs> Here's my pin. <laughs> Castle Rock Quilt Show. I'm going to go look at that. Good night, Helen. Oh my goodness. I hope you're healing up real well. Linda keeps retracting every message she types in. I just, I pulled my notebook up to write a note and I was like, oh, look, <laughs> I have, I have a note here to send something to Shelly. 
<laughs> see, Sherry? Now you see what I mean. <laughs> they all get retracted before I even get to them. I think she's doing it on purpose. Forty miles from Denver. Okay. All right, look, yay. <laughs> so I have the purple guy and I got the blue guy. And I got the orange guy. I think I'm making 12 of these. I think you make 12. Um, and then I'm gonna decide if I want to, um, let me get back to this camera. I'm going to have to decide if I want to uh, put the quilt together the way she has it, or do I want it to be a little bit bigger? Maybe with, I'm not sure. We'll see. I always kind of um, figure that out after I have all of the blocks ready to go together. So um, we'll see what I'm going to do. Um, Linda Parsons says, I have quit sewing for a while. I'm waiting for a hospital to call me to set up to get my hernia on my belly button taken care of. Okay. Um... Awesome. All right. So, um... I am going to go for tonight. And I hope you guys had a, a good time watching me sew three things. <laughs> <laughs> I talk too much sometimes. Um, uh, but it's a lot of fun, and I am going to get them done. I will get them done. I have lots of other sewing going on, so you guys come and check out what I'm doing. Um, hi, Martha. Um, and I will 
see you guys later. Patty is saying, will you be doing retreats on the East Coast? Um, I don't know. I don't know. If I do, it'll be further in the future um, because it's probably something that I'll want to start closer to me. Um, and then and then see how we go from there. See how popular it is. See if people um, like to come and do retreats. Um, so that's what, that's, you know, everything is going to unfold. <laughs> I never say never. Put it that way. Um, okay, you guys. I will see you hopefully on Friday for another live. And hopefully also before that with some uh, sewing on my channel. So I'll see you guys later on. Thank you for supporting me. Love you guys to death. Please make sure that you're subscribed. And I'll see you guys. Mwah, mwah. <laughs> Bye-bye.